In this video, we will first show you how to collect a dataset from the Web of Science on Inflation and Economy. Then, we will show you a pre-processing step. Next we will set up a new project and perform some basic analytic tasks. We recommend that you begin with a topic search for its simplicity and topical relevance before you explore more advanced search strategies. The next step is to export a representative dataset. In this case, we will limit our analysis to the top 3,000 most cited records in the total of 10,625 records. This is usually the most cost-effective approach. It is important to make sure you export all the available fields, especially including the cited reference field. Otherwise, you may run into insufficient data problems in your subsequent analysis. The maximum number of records you can export each time is 1000. The next few steps will show you how to get around this limitation. Each data file should have its file name starting with the word download. Now we will create some folders to organize our data files. We will first create a folder for the entire analysis, then create three subfolders, namely a project folder, a data folder, and a unique data folder.
Now let's start SiteSpace. We will show you a pre-processing step called duplicate removal, which will speed up subsequent processes and provide you with some useful information about your dataset. You need to select two folders, one containing the input data files and the other will contain processed results. You will see some statistics about your dataset, for example, the total number of unique records and any missing data in individual fields such as DOI and CR, cited references. You can also see the beginning and the ending years of records in your dataset, which would be useful when you set project parameters. Now we are going to create a new project for the research on inflation. Keep in mind that this is not a comprehensive study, but it is a selective and representative snapshot of the relevant literature. We need to assign the two folders we created earlier. The project folder and the unique data folder. We also need to set a time window for our analysis from the beginning year to the ending year of our dataset. You can certainly select a smaller window. Press the start button to start the process. Use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in or out. Using the trayering display can make it easier to see the citation history of each node so that we can rotate the network accordingly. For instance, we rotate the network so that the earliest works appear towards the left and the most recent works appear towards the right. Then we will use the all-in-one function for clustering and labeling. Run Optimize Layout to separate overlapping clusters. Show Cluster Dependencies. We can adjust a threshold to show more or fewer cluster dependency links. Save the visualization so that we can open it in a later session. To better understand what a cluster is about, we can use the GPT function, which will generate a cluster label that characterizes the main theme of a cluster and a cluster summary that outlines the primary themes appeared in the cluster. The cluster summaries will be included in the summary report. The link walkthrough function steps through the network by highlighting links added in each year. If you choose the monthly time slicing mode, the link walkthrough will show monthly changes.
We can also use the Cluster Explorer function to inspect each cluster in detail. Citation Burst can highlight scholarly publications in the literature that have received an outstanding level of attention demonstrated by its rapidly growing citations. We can adjust the sensitivity of the burst detection with several parameters such as the magnitude of a burst and the duration of a burst. Potentially insightful dynamics of a field of research is the way in which its attention has been shifted over time. In this example, we can see a relatively stable period of time, followed by a period with faster shifts. Several major aspects of the analysis are highlighted in a summary report, including structural and temporal dynamics of how the field of research evolves. If we save the visualization of the network to a PNG image beforehand, the image will be included in the report. In general, before running the summary report function, you should complete major analytic tasks first, for example, with the all-in-one function, burst detection, GPT labeling and summarization. For each cluster, its key theme will be characterized by its cluster label. A more detailed summary of its primary themes is also included in the report. It is important to bear in mind limitations that may be associated with such characterizations and summarizations generated by AI. Ultimately, you as an author should be responsible for any observations and conclusions of your analysis. We started with a topic search in the Web of Science, pre-processed the data with a duplicate removal function, then we created a new project and visualized the network. To better understand the network, a typical strategy is to divide and conquer by focusing on individual thematic clusters and then their interdependencies. The nature of a cluster is characterized and summarized by GPT. With more practice and reflecting on theoretical foundations, you will be able to explore the development of a research topic in a broad context. Enjoy the visual navigation and reasoning experience. Thank you and goodbye.